All right, it's time to take a look at another book. This is for Bolt Action, and it's actually a campaign book, The Road to Berlin. And this is more the on the Eastern Front than it will be the Western Front. So this is like after the Battle of Kursk. This is the campaign you can do to go into Berlin. And we'll take a closer look at one of those camp kind of short little campaigns with some scenarios in it, and we'll kind of skim over the others, but you'll get a good idea of what's in this book. It's uh, like 158 pages, soft cover, perfect bound. And this is going to be the back of the book. And if you look down here, this is going to be the description of what's going on in here. And it's, it's just really this campaign it has some scenarios that go together. There's like three in a little setting that go together. Uh, there's some rules, some more troops you can choose from. Um, and so there's some other options that are available in this campaign setting. And let's take a look inside, kind of skimming it. And like all Osprey and Warlord game books like this, there's wonderful photos, illustrations that you would normally expect from this company. So it's just like that illustration there. So this is what the inside is going to look like. And we'll take a closer look in just a little bit. So this is going to be your table of contents of what's in the game. And we'll kind of take a closer look here. So we have the kind of history about the road to Berlin. This is going to be your main theater of action operation. Um, I'm going to be horrible with these names, but Bagration. <laughs> and then the scenarios involved with it, special rules and so forth. And we'll take a look at this scenario in detail, and I'll kind of go skim over the others. But this way you kind of see how it's all set up. And so you have three scenarios for this one. Then you can play, if you want to do it in order, then you can go to, I, I'm, whatever this says, <laughs> I don't know, <laughs> um, Russian or whatever. And then you've got the scenarios and so forth. And then the Warsaw Uprising. And then the struggle continues. So you've got these little, here's the setting and then the scenarios for that setting. So there is a lot of, uh, if you, there's a lot of games available in this book. This one, and in Operation Berlin, and there's your scenario. So it looks like about 13 right there, 14. So it looks like uh, there's 14 scenarios in this game. And so if you want to play it in order as the Eastern Front was moving into uh, Berlin, this would be a perfect book for that. And it also talks about this in the game, like your snow, mud, and ice, which they ran into frostbite. Digging in, minefields, and city fighting in this book. So let's go take a look at this Operation uh, Bagration. And we'll go all the way through and we'll go to each page and kind of see how this is set up. All right, we're on to the Operation Bagration. I know I'm going to get somebody who tells me that's how, not even how you say it. Um, I don't speak the language, so I, sorry. So let's take a close-up look, and let's go through this whole Operation B. I'm going to call it Operation B. How about that? So kind of what it'll give you is the history of this operation, what actually happened. And if you want to read some of this, you can pause the video. I'm going to continue on because otherwise it would be a very, very, very long video. And so it gives you a pretty good history of what the setting or campaign was about at this point. And then it talks about terrain, but also the scenarios you could also use if you wanted to from the bolt action, just regular bolt action rule book. You can use these scenarios. Then we got special rules for the B operation. And again, I'm not going to read everything. You can stop the video and look at it if you want to. And now the theaters, 
and what you can build, like this forlorn hope. So it gives you some more options than just what's in the regular book, uh, like your German book or your Soviet book gives you these options also. So if you want to run one of these. So this is also a kind of an army uh, builder book also. It's like, you know what, I, I'm tired of playing what I've been playing. I want some other German force. Well, here's another one. Or another Soviet force. Well, here's another uh, option for you. Now, um, I'm not going to talk too much about this. You kind of see it. I'm, I kind of just want you to see one of the campaign all the way through uh, with all the scenarios so you get a really good idea of what this book is about. And here's the other units. Goes into more detail. You guys are, if you play bold action, you're familiar with the setup. And now we're on to scenario one. So the Tigers of uh, K. The Tigers of K. So it's going to be a description of what's going on there. Here's the opposing forces. Um, you can also get some Shermans here. Set up your objective. So you should be familiar with a lot of this, but this is what's going to be available in this game. Here's the map, and we'll take a close-up look at this map. So here's what you should set up the area like. Here's the Soviet side, the German set up here. Now we'll go back out. Any special rules for this? Game duration, victory, and the aftermath. So that is that one. Then you can go to scenario two. And it's going to go through the same things for that scenario. What happened here? What's available? What's your objective? How do you set up the game? Um, let's take a closer look at this map. So this is what this one's going to look like. Totally different looking battlefield. I'm really liking, um, I like these campaigns where they set it up for you, like this is what happened, or uh, it could be fictional too, it's fictional games with campaign setting. But I do kind of like this, uh, this way, because a lot of games either I've set them up before or somebody else set them up and they kind of get to be the same, the same, but I do like this option. So, go back out. So this is the second scenario in the B operation. And it goes to that. And then you got scenario three. And it goes through the same thing again. And let's look at this campaign map. There we go. So it looks like we have some houses in this one. And we'll go back out. There we go. And so that's our last scenario in this one. Then we go to a new scenario. So there you go. You kind of get an idea of what Operation B is going to be like. And that's all the way from page 7 to 33. Now if we look at the rest of them, we got... I'm not even going to try these names. So you have this one, and it's kind of the same setup. What's What is available, the map... Here's what happened, here's how you win the game, then you go to the next scenario, the next scenario for that, and then you go to the next campaign setting. See, oh, this one, scenario five. Oh, that's kind of nice. I like that if you're doing a painting guide or want to see what these actually look like. So I did see there was some check in this game. I don't know if these guys are, but there were some check. Uh, members of the Polish. So this is part of the Polish. People's Army. So there's going to be more in here than just Germans and Soviets. Well, that's a nice picture. I like the... Well, okay. I'm getting, so the struggle continues. So this is your next campaign situation. And what happens there? The VO offensive. Looks like you're winter fighting in this one. And so you get the idea of, of this and that how many... You know, that goes clear to the Prague Uprising. You got, um, looks like, 14 scenarios in this. And so I'm, I'm really pleased with this, how this is set up. I, I just, even though I don't play Soviets and I don't play Germans, I play U.S., I want to play this. Maybe I can figure some way I can get my U.S. to play this, because I, I do like how this is set up. But we're going to take a look here at the end 
and then that'll be it. So let's take a look at these uh, special rules here. It starts on page 136. So here's about your snow, mud, ice, deep mud. What happens with the modifiers to that? Thin ice table. Oh, that's scary. Thin ice table. Um, dug in with fox holes and you're digging in rules. There's about frostbite. Dug in vehicles and so forth. You can see it in the minefields. And there was something I know about building fight or building fighting in here in the back too, or city fighting. So we'll get to that. And here we go with city fighting. And our rubble table. Oh, sewer movement. Awesome. Roads of command, command in the city, and then the credits. So that's all that's available in this one. It's a really, really thick, nicely done book. Um, I'm, even though I don't play Soviets and I don't play Germans, Czechs, or Polish or whatever, this one does have me really interested. I, I do like campaigns, and I like the way this one is set up. So if you get a chance and you play Germans or something from the East Front, you might really, really check into this road to Berlin.